Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we're gonna do a video on this code. It's uh, P0302. You guys have this code. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem. Uh, it's essentially cylinder, cylinder two misfire detected. Now, basically, if you guys have this code, you're gonna have a check engine light on your dash, obviously. And chances are your engine is going to be, uh, it's gonna run really, really rough. Uh, it's gonna run sometimes to the point where you think it's 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 a knock and it's an engine knock and the engine's about to just, uh, you have like damage in your engine. Uh, but to be honest with you, if you just have this code centered to misfire, um, you will have, uh, and a lot of cars have a, a, a knocking sound, but it's not going to be as bad as you think. So basically, um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to determine whether it's just a cylinder two misfire detected. If it's just P0302, just with that one single code, if that's that, if it's just that one single code, it's either going to be A your spark plug that needs to be replaced or B, your um, your coil, the spark plug coil uh, needs to be replaced. One of those two things, you should probably replace both of those two things. Now, you guys are in a situation where you guys don't know whether it's a spark plug or the coil and you guys don't want to spend you guys don't want to spend like a couple of maybe you guys don't want to spend like a hundred dollars for to buy a coil from AutoZone. It only costs like around 20 to 30 dollars on uh, eBay, but essentially you're going to want your car working immediately as soon as possible. But uh, in this case, what you guys want to do is just to figure out whether it's the coil that's the problem or the spark plug, you could actually uh, replace uh, this coil with another coil from one of the other cylinders that's working correctly if you get a code a different code for any of the for the cylinder that was replaced with the bad coil you know that it's the coil that's the problem and it's not the spark plug that's the problem and then you could probably just uh or or if you're still having that issue um you could probably just replace the spark plug however um, there's a chance that you guys could probably get P0302, that code, with uh, multiple other codes. Um, if you get that code with a P0301 or P0303 or uh, uh, another one with the same uh, misfire code, with a similar misfire code for any of the other cylinders, chances are you probably need to change out the spark plug or the, co or the coil for the other cylinders as well. It's a good thing if you guys are doing this to just change out all the spark plugs and uh, the, the coils because if one of them goes bad, there's a good chance that the other ones are going to go bad pretty soon. Um, but if you guys get a P0302 code with a bunch of other codes um, and it randomly goes from P0302 and it, it has uh, it's, it's also has a P0303 and then you have a, a misfire code that's random, there's also a chance that it's probably not the cylinder or the car, the spark plug or the coil that's misfiring. There's a good chance that it's probably A, either a vacuum leak or B, there's some other issue with your engine that you need to, uh, that you need to figure out what the problem is to fix the issue and just changing out the spark plug on uh, these uh, cylinders that's misfiring is not going to fix the issue. But uh hope that this has helped you guys out. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.